So, the new Minecraft 1.16 update has dropped on Tuesday, June 23rd. And if you're anything like me, one of the first questions you're asking yourself is, how do I get netherite? Stick around and I'll show you five ways you can get ancient debris that you could turn into netherite in Minecraft 1.16, the nether update. Let's go. Starting off the list in our first spot is the branch mining method, which is pretty much the same thing you would do when you're looking for diamonds in the overworld, but with a few differences here. For starters, in the overworld, you usually start at Y11 to find diamonds, but I've had the most luck finding ancient debris down at Y15. So go ahead and dig down a safe way down to this level, which as you can see I've done right over there, and then go ahead and start branch mining out in any direction. I would also recommend bringing some fire resistance potions. Hey look, we found some already. Sweet! See, there you go. So this is a very rare block, obviously, so we got really lucky here. And I just want to show you guys that there you go. All right, we got our first one. Sweet! So that's the branch mining method. Then we move on to number two, which is an extension of the branch mining method, but with a little bit of a bang. And of course, what I mean by that is the TNT method. So what I've gone ahead and done is place TNT along this entire branch mine once I just got sick of digging. So all you have to do here is light one and then run away so you don't die and then wait for everything to blow up. There we go. And then look, there's some right there. We wouldn't even have known until we did this. And this is going to go ahead and blow up every block around it with the exception of the ancient debris, because ancient debris just can't be blown up by TNT. So look there, we found one, two, three, and at least three that we could see immediately. There's four, five, and let's see any more over here, and six, seven. So with that quick explosion, we just found seven pieces of ancient debris on top of the one that I had found earlier. So I have to say, I think that method is rather effective for our third method here it's uh just as explosive but uh in a bit of a different way as i'm sure most of you know you cannot sleep in the nether so if you get into a bed that happens and yeah and then you get lit on fire ouch <laughs> so if you're gonna do this you should probably make sure you have some blast protection armor and you've got some food because you're gonna get hurt there is no way around it. You're definitely going to take a lot of damage. Uh, blast resistance armor, definitely a key here. And look, after only three attempts of blowing myself up with a bed, I actually found a piece of ancient debris. So this method does in fact work. But it's really damaging. This next one on the list in our fourth spot is for those really rich endgame players. Those of you who want to <laughs> waste your end crystals, that'll work too. It's just a different mining method. Again, you're going to find lots of lava. But yeah, if you felt so inclined, you certainly could place the end crystal on the obsidian. And boom, and then you could just keep doing it over and over and over again until you've mined out an area. Now, if you're doing this in survival, you could always shoot it with a bow. And just as proof it does work, see, right there, found a little bit, right there. And coming in at our last spot for number five on the list, we are here in the Basalt Deltas biome, specifically in a bastion around these piglins, which will absolutely attack you when they're scared of the zombified piglins. <sighs> R.I.P. Zombie Pigmen. But anyway, they are horrified of them, and there's actually a 16.8% chance that a netherite ingot will spawn in one of these chests. But make sure when you come in here, you are decked out at least wearing some kind of gold armor, or they will absolutely attack you. And if we check, take a look in this chest here, there is in fact a netherite ingot. And I actually got really lucky because this bro over here, Broham, we're going to call him Broham, Broham helped us out. See, you didn't even see me take your stuff. Now you will. Ah, run away. And there you have it, everybody. Those were my five ways to find netherite or ancient debris 
in the Minecraft 1.16 update. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and if you found it helpful, please let me know. Thanks so much, everybody. Obi out. See you next time.